Creating a custom coming soon page with DVDM Pro is incredibly easy and here's how to do it. Go to Pages, Add New. We are going to create a layout for our coming soon page. You can give it any name you want, such as coming soon, it doesn't matter. And you want to make sure to use the DV Team Builder. Let's just choose to build from scratch. And we can also use the front-end builder, why not? I bet most of you use the visual builder, so let's use that instead. We can add any content here we want. Uh, let's, for example, change the background for this section. Let's choose an image. And also I can add a gradient uh, on top of the image. Let's just make some something fancy real quick. For example, something like this, and I can place the gradient uh, above the background image. There we go. Let's also lower the opacity of this. We can also make the section uh, full height. We can do that if we go to design, sizing, and for the height, I can just do this. There we go. Now I can add a row and I can add a text module that says uh, coming soon and of course let's uh, choose this to be a title sorry let's let's make it a heading one and we can just then style the heading text we can just replace the font family and color and size and everything else let's align it in the middle there we go let's save this now as our template for the coming soon page all you have to do is to go to page settings and click this right here save to library you want to give it a name such as coming soon template and you want to assign it to two categories that is coming soon page and php template save to library and you don't even have to publish this page you can just exit the visual builder now you want to go back to the dashboard settings appearance customize now open dvdm pro page settings coming soon page from the drop down menu choose coming soon template they just created and make sure to publish it that's it now if you go to your website uh, as a non-logged in user you're going to see this custom page that you just created. If you visit as a logged in user, you will be able to continue working on your website and see the dashboard and the back end of the website normally. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.